Have you ever finished watching a movie or TV show on Netflix and suddenly a similar video is recommended to you that you might like? How did Netflix know to recommend this video to you? Have you ever used Hey Siri or Alexa to ask a question and you receive the response? What do all of these activities have in common? They all use something called artificial intelligence to make recommendations to answer your question. Welcome back to Stemagir. I'm your host, Alonso, ready to take you on a Stemagir adventure on the world of artificial intelligence. Before I get started, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you'll never miss another Stemagir video. Also, if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit the like button down below. Now back to today's topic. So what is artificial intelligence or AI? Over the years, there has been many ways that scientists and organizations have defined AI because this technology is constantly growing and evolving. For the purposes of this video, we'll define AI as a broad field in computer science that uses technology to allow machines and applications to think like humans and perform tasks like learning, reasoning, making decisions, and solving problems. AI is basically a technology and a mathematical algorithm that makes machines smart. And just for reference, an algorithm is a fancy word for a procedure to solve a problem. To break it down a little bit more, in computer science, an algorithm is a set of steps that a computer program follows to complete a task. Generally, there are two different categories of AI, weak AI and strong AI. Weak AI, or narrow AI, allows a machine or application to become a specialist and focus on only specific tasks that it's trained to do. For example, you may have heard personal or virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa. These types of devices use weak AI technology to complete specific tasks, like responding to questions or performing a command like turn on the lights. Strong AI allows machines or applications to think in a way that are like a human being. This category is more complex than weak AI because of the human-like thinking. For example, strong AI technology can be designed to take inputs or information from a surrounding environment so that a machine or application can learn from those inputs and make changes to become smarter and make better decisions. This is similar to what humans do. An example of strong AI is self-driving cars. For cars to drive by themselves, they would have to perform human-like thought processes, like analyzing the environment around them and make decisions like, can I change lanes safely? Or, red light ahead, I should slow down. There are also many different AI technologies, some of which you may have heard of. Some AI technologies include machine learning, natural language processing, and computer vision. Note that there's also deep learning, which is a type of machine learning that is under the AI umbrella. Let's take a moment to explore some of these technologies. We'll take a closer look at machine learning and computer vision. Again, there are many different definitions from scientists and researchers worldwide for this technology because this field is rapidly evolving. For this video, we'll use the following definitions. Machine learning is a technology that allows machines or applications to become smarter over time using algorithms. These algorithms analyze data and improve on the ability for a machine or applications to make predictions and decisions based on learning. Machine learning is used on platforms like Facebook and YouTube. Machine learning technologies can take inputs such as what you watch, or read on social media, and then analyze the trends and patterns to make recommendations about what content or ads you may want to see based on the history of what you watched or read. With machine learning, a machine or application is essentially learning what you like. Another type of AI technology is called computer vision. Computer vision is a technology that helps machines to learn and interpret digital images. An example of how computer vision is used in the real world is facial recognition. 
Machines can use very complicated algorithms to detect and learn people's facial features. These algorithms can later be used to identify a person, for example, in photo tagging on your phone or social media sites, or even facial recognition on phones. So now you've learned about AI. Let's take a quick look at AI in action. You might have heard something called a smart home. In 2017, Gartner's survey defines a smart home as a house that has built-in devices or services connected to the internet, and that can be accessed remotely and managed by tools like an apps or computers. Devices that can be connected in a smart home include doors, thermostats, lights, and many other things. AI and machine learning can analyze the data and patterns from your smart home devices to learn your behaviors. For example, as you wake up in the morning, you may have a routine that consists of turning on the lights, turning down the thermostat, and turning on your favorite kind of music. Smart devices can use AI or machine learning to learn your habits and eventually perform these tasks without your input. So imagine now. Your smart devices are automatically turned on the lights at sunrise, then turn the thermostat right to the temperature, even in different seasons, and pick new songs that you may like to hear. All this happens without you lifting a finger, or even thinking about it. That's AI or machine learning in action. Pretty cool, right? Thanks for joining me in the Stimage Your Adventure. If you enjoy my content, please remember to click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.